What's good, people? This is your boy Ford, Old Guy Gaming, and here we are with another episode of OG News, bringing you the latest to come out in the gaming world. Right now, we're going to take a look at a game called Warzone Pacific. Now, if you're not familiar, Call of Duty had introduced a couple years ago um, a battle royale called Warzone. We know Fortnite made battle royales um, a lot more popular, and Warzone came out, and it was a game changer. Well, now with their new game that they released, Call of Duty Vanguard, they're releasing a new map, and they're calling it Warzone Pacific, and it's the Caldera map. So they dropped a little teaser gameplay um, a little teaser video today so we're just gonna go ahead pop at it take a look at it and then we're gonna look at some of the notes and see what's to come so let's crack right into it all right let's check this out y'all travelers explorers adventure seekers okay. with all travel bans to caldera lifted Instantly, I like it because it's a lot more Pacific Horizon air. Darkness, Caldera, a hidden paradise. Enjoy awe-inspiring landscapes. Now, can you climb Visit the rocks? Visit sites in Caldera's we'll storied past. Survey the land from above by climbing natural rock formations. Okay, you can climb rocks. Explore underground caves. Take a dip in a river or stream. We got some water Fuel up action. on the artisanal organic produce harvested locally. Caldera, the Emerald yeah, of the definitely Pacific. Feeling this map. Flights, a lot brighter. Starting December 9th. Pacific Horizon Air is not responsible for any death, parachute-related accidents, gas-related deaths or injury, anti-aircraft fire, tennis elbow, food poisoning, or any similar instances. Should Pacific Horizon Air become engaged in aerial combat, an early exit may be required. What are you waiting for? Book your trip today. Okay, the journey begins December 9th. Okay, exclusive access on December 8th. All right, all right, all right. All right. So initial thoughts and impression with the map. Um, like I said, one of the main things, it's a lot colorful, it's more vibrant. Warzone was very bleak, very brown, very much gray, it's not a lot of color. Um, so that's one thing there. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at the patch notes and see what we have going on here. So here we have, and we are taking a look at Call of Duty Warzone Pacific and the Caldera map. We see we have the POIs, which are called points of interest, different places where you'll be dropping them on the map. Now, if you look at this here, if you're used to the uh, regular Call of Duty map, this is essentially the same size, but it's just a different map. So we're not getting a larger map. We're not gonna get more players that are gonna be in the map. Let's go ahead and take a look. December 8th, Vanguard owners will receive 24 hours of exclusive access to Caldera. So what this basically means is Warzone uh, Pacific Caldera map technically drops on December 9th. But if you have purchased or already owned Call of Duty Vanguard, which I hear not a lot of people have, um, you get exclusive access on December 8th for 24 hours. Now, real quick, what's going to be the perks of owning Vanguard is the main thing is you can start leveling up your guns now. For all my Call of Duty Warzone players, you'll get a little head start on that. Um, if you don't like multiplayer too much, the main reason to have the multiplayer is to easier to be easier to level up your guns. That's it. So if you are a hardcore Warzone player, even though Warzone is free and you want to step the game up, I would recommend purchasing just for that alone. All right. Caldera has 15 huge districts. Okay, we see that. All right, let's look at some of the maps. We got Naval Arsenal here. We got some pictures here. So, okay, this gives me a little bit of stadium vibes over here. Um, but we'll see this area over here. This looks kind of familiar, doesn't it? That's because in the industrial docks, we have something that looks like Shipment. Shipment has been a map that's been in Call of Duty for years. Um, it's a close quarters map, very hectic. But well, we got this little area here, so it should be some nice engagements and gunfights there. We got Runway, and something we'll talk about later on, in this map, you actually do have airplanes. So we'll have some dogfighting going on there. Let's see, this is what ruins look like, very Aztec. We got the phosphate mines. I like the different levels of elevation here. Yet again, colorful, I'm all for it. Peak. 
Now this map yet again, I don't know what Call of Duty, but this reminds me that it was a multiplayer map somewhere in Call of Duty. If you know, drop it in the comments. We got Beachhead, River Village, Clearwater Lagoon. We're gonna talk about the changes that also comes um, with the water being in the maps now. We got Caldera Terminal. I hope this ATV tower ain't the same as how it's been in the Warzone map because it's very annoying when people sit up there and camp. What else we got? Agricultural Center. All right. We got Shark's Lair Submarine Pen. Now this looks like it'll have some interior play, almost like how the prison is in Rebirth Island. I can see that vibe over here. We got the power plant, small little POI there. We got Capital City, give me much very Cuba vibes. The Royal Cabana Resort. What else we got? I think that's about it there. So that's just a little sneak peek at some of the POIs there. Now. Vanguard integration starts December 8th, basically meaning all operators, weapons, and personalizations from Vanguard will transfer over into the Caldera map. So it says as season one launches on December 8th, Warzone players can gain access to everything that Vanguard brought to the arsenal and barracks. So from Vanguard, we're going to have 40 weapons that's going to be in the game. 38 of those weapons um, will be from Vanguard's launch, plus two free weapons that come in the battle pass. Um, we got a dozen operators, calling cards, emblems, and more, all those different things. Now, we have the regular Battle Royale, then we have a mode that's called Vanguard Royale. This mode is introducing dogfighting and updated land vehicles. So, in this, you'll be able to fly and dogfight. I think that's going to be interesting. I'm glad it's not part of the core Battle Royale experience, but it's just a separate playlist on its own. Um, you'll also have uh, AA guns on trucks to shoot down the plane so you got a little balance there um this will be more focused on vanguard weapons so your loot loadouts and your loots will be all meta oriented now rebirth island for those who like to play rebirth december 8th while they're switching over rebirth island will still be available for those 24 hour period the main war zone map won't so if you're trying to play war zone on december 8th you'll only be able to play rebirth island then after december 8th well, Rebirth Island will go away and they're gonna bring it back later on in the season. Now, here's some good details for my people that actually play the game and wanna know, hey, what's changing, what's improving? Some of these you may like, some of these you may not. But let's take a look at it. Um, we got here for the December 8th launch um, and December 9th for all regular players. Now the Gulag, once you go to the Gulag, so yet again, you're fighting, you die, you get a chance to go to the Gulag. Whatever your weapon loadout you have in the Gulag, you will come back with it. So you'll no longer just come back with a pistol, you'll actually come back with it. If you played Iron Trials 84, which was a war zone mode, you've experienced this when they tested it out. So I think that's gonna be a nice little thing because you always hated, you lost your guns when you came back, but at least now you'll have something. Dead Silence is being nerfed. If you've ever played Warzone and next thing you know, someone creeps up behind you and executes you because they had Dead Silence on that is now being nerfed and stopping power rounds are gone. So no longer will you get two bursted from some noob that just shot you from across the map because they had stopping power on. Um, now, it looks like they are also looking at dual wielded weapons. So the Cali sticks and the Psy, man, you ever had just someone run around the map and just beating you upside the head? They're nerfing those too. Um, loadout drop markers. Now, so if you're familiar with the game, you drop in, you search, you loot, you find your weapons. Um, you'd usually get enough money available to call in the loadout so you get your special guns. Well, they're changing that now. So I believe after the first circle, um, just a regular loadout will drop on the map for people to fight over. Only after that loadout drop comes in, can you purchase now your own custom loadout. So that's a little different, but I think it's gonna make the play a little bit better. Let's see. Talk about that. Um, tactical equipments are getting a buff. Snapshot grenade will see its effective radius in click, uh, increase. Um, Stim will also apply a slight boost 
and the decoy grenade, these are things that were rarely used, will now have rubber pellets, so it will do some damage and annoy people, but also it will have um, a wider range and you can see where your enemies are. Now here's something interesting that I'm, I'm eager to test out and see once the game drops. So gas mask, if you're familiar with gas mask, if you're coming out the circle, it would interrupt your motions. You couldn't really pull out your gun right away, couldn't re reload, you'd have to wait for that. They said it's gonna be a lot easier to do that and less animations, but, there are now explosive canisters. So what these things are is basically a mini circle that you can create that will poison and cause people to cough. You can even send it up zips. Um, but the thing is, you can have to carry it with two hands. You can't have your weapon out. If you're shot while carrying it, someone could explode it. But you could throw it at people, find where people are, leave a nice little gift for them. So I think that's going to be an interesting addition to uh, Warzone there. Now. They have shallow water, so you can't go out into the sea and swim. I believe you're able to do that in Blackout. But in this version, um, you will be able to now to wade through shallow waters in areas like the lagoon. Um, now, if someone has tracker equipped, they can't see you in the water, so it adds as an aid there. And also, if you crouch in the water, you'll gain the effects of cold-blooded, so you'll be off radars and things like that, but you cannot go prone in the water. So that is a nice little addition there. Let's see, there's a supply uh, drop contract, which will give you just um, valuable crate for people. We got another one is big game bounty. So basically whoever is slain on the map and got the most kills with this big game bounty, you'll be able to see them there. We got some top secret contracts. We got some repping crates and things like that. So looking good, looking good. For our PC players, they got a new anti-cheat coming out and I think that's about it. So, so far, these new additions are sounding pretty legit. Pretty legit. Um, I'm liking, uh, let me adjust this mic here so I can lean back and talk to my peoples, my OGs. Um, so, seeming like this is going to be good. Now, I have to be honest, I got a video coming out. Um, this video is going to be coming out comparing multiplayer games, FPS, first person shooters. Um, and Battle Royales. We got Warzone, we got uh, Fortnite, we got Apex, which is the best. Um, we got Halo just dropped, Halo's pretty nice. Um, Battlefield, little buggy of different gameplay. And so we're gonna be comparing what's the best shooter that's out there right now. Um, and we're gonna get into that. But, Till then, from what I'm hearing and seeing, Warzone is seeming like it, it, it might it might take the throne back. It might take the throne back. So, well, for majority of people, y'all think Warzone is already on top, but we're gonna break it down, like I said in a later video. But what do you think about this? Are you dropping in on December 8th or December 9th? Are you looking forward to the Vanguard integration in a new fresh map finally, even though Apex has four of them now? Um, but uh, are we looking into that? Um, are you looking into that? Are you looking forward to that? So I know I'm a little excited. I want to get back into it. Uh, I want to get back into some Warzone games and uh, see what it's all about. But I thank you guys for tuning in. Like I said, please drop a comment. Let me know if you're excited. I need some people to squad up with. That's one of my main reasons why I don't like Warzone. I don't like solo queuing in Warzone. And I don't like playing with randoms because they usually do dumb stuff. So, if you're looking to hop in some Warzone and you want to carry your boy, you're an OG that got some game, go ahead, drop your gamer tag in the comments. But if not, that's going to be our OG news for today. I thank you guys so much for tuning in. And look, I'll catch you out there. Peace.